Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video, man. And today we have Prime Icon Petty in our squad. Where is he? Yeah, he is here. We have today Prime Icon Petty review, man. I just bought this car, did the review, and boom, sold him because this car is like they fluctuate a lot. I just bought him this at 1 million flat. And after tax, I did like 20k profit, which was amazing to see, man. Because on a million, uh, on this rate, uh, tax is 50k. And after tax, we did like like 15k, something like that. So it was amazing, guys. Uh, right now, we're going to go and check the price with you. Uh, I'm going to see uh, if he's below 1 million coins. And I will do all of this review as much as I can, guys. I will do some mid-tier icons, some uh, high-end icons like Galincha, Dalglish, Carlos Alberto. Uh, yeah, Petit is, let's check it out. Yeah, he's, he's more than 1 million coins yet. But as you can see, there are some open bids. You can go and get this card. Uh, so, let's go and check his stats with you guys. Uh, so, Petit is 3-star, three 3-star, three which isn't, uh, like, for the center mid is... Uh, good high high is quite good for a center mid like if you're gonna play him as a box to box it's a good it's good work rate but as a cdm i like more to be a medium high uh left footed and he is quite tall man 185 centimeters is quite tall uh if you go to the stats pace is good like 77 pace for a cdm is good to have he's like someone like Vieira. Shooting isn't the best, but uh, the thing that you're gonna have with him is that 90 short pa shot power and 90 long shots. Finishing isn't the best, but if you go like uh, have some open net, he'll probably uh, top that through the corner. Now, passing is quite interesting because he has 90 short passing and 80 uh, long passing, which is great to have as a CDM, so he will do the job as your uh, CDM. Now, uh, the downside is to have this dribbling. Now, I don't love this dribbling because the agility and balance is on the down the low side. He doesn't have any uh, dribbling stats over 80 on that position. Like, he has 79 agility and 73 balance, which is sometimes questionable. Like, he will be clunky in game. Uh, we're going to speak more about that. But other than that, his dribbling, uh, like, it's good to have. Now, the defensive part, note, uh, there is no negative things to say about that. And finally, the physical stats is amazing. So probably you're seeing this guy, we, we can compare him to Vieira. He has some similar stats to, uh, to him, like, but obviously Vieira is way, way more expensive car. Like Vieira goes to 3 million coins uh, and this card is like a million coins. Trades, he doesn't have any trade. And as you know, he played for Monaco, Arsenal, Barca and Chelsea. So. Uh, in general, this is a great card to, to have. We're going to speak uh, more about him in-game. Is he good as a CDM? If he can play uh, as a center mid. So yeah, guys, let's check it out. Okay, guys, so with Petit, I reviewed this card uh, in Division Rivals. Yeah, I played this card as a Division Rivals. And I played him in a 4-4-2 as my main CDM. Besides, like, I played uh, Kessie and Renato Sanchez. Uh, Sometimes Renato Sanchez, sometimes Kessia beside him. And sometimes I played uh, him as my main CDM. And uh, sometimes I played him as an attacking CDM. Like the secondary CDM that will provide you some attacks. And I tried him out to in a 4 one 2 2 narrow formation. So I tried this card like many positions. And uh, I will tell you, let's start with each category. Pace, I apply the Shadow Cam style, and I can tell you that the pace is enough for this card. He is quick, but he's not like fast, fast. Like, he's not a card, he's not quick as Renato Sanchez. He's not quick, of course, like Kante. Kante is a way, way uh, faster card, but he was delivering the job. But he's not a guy that you're gonna pick and run through everything. But pace isn't that amazing but it's good like i'm okay with that pace like it's a good pace to have shooting wise uh i had one or two opportunities with him and i will tell you that he's he of uh, of course he's not the best uh finisher 
uh, he missed some chances. Uh, passing was great. I really loved his passing because he had some opportunities and he delivered some great passes, man. Like, I don't know if we saw him in this review, but for all, I, I delivered some great, great passes, which was amazing to see. Now, uh, what's interesting with this is the dribbling capabilities. I will tell you that this card isn't that agile, but he's not that clunky clunky. I mean, he is like this this opportunity for his shooting, as I, as I said, like this was questionable to see, man. Like this part was, come on, dude, you need to score that. Uh, other than that, here I, I will show you some uh, some of his dribbling capabilities, uh, which was good. He is he was great, man. Uh, other than that, just uh, for a note, I will be giving away twelve thousand FIFA points. So uh, if you want to enter, guys, you just need to subscribe to the channel down below. If I reach one thousand subscribers, I will choose one lucky winner and give it out twelve thousand FIFA points, or I will just give you a hundred bucks. You choose your uh, thing, man. Uh, just that was a quick side note. Uh, other than that, as you're seeing, I was joking with him. Um, I was getting the ball. He is a good CDM man. But I, I will use him as like a pure defensive CDM. I don't want him. To, I don't want you to use him as an attacking CDM because he is slow. He will not deliver the job for you. Like here, the passing was amazing. The dribbling was amazing. But as an attacking CDM, I, I see someone like Bruno Fernandez. I see someone like uh, De Bruyne, uh, maybe Renato Sanchez, but this guy isn't like the guy that you want to get the defensive part and get the ball through. Like he want you want to utilize this card as a pure center defensive midfield in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow or in a like a 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, like your main CDM. Uh, if you can utilize this card as that job, he will deliver the job. I will give him like an 8 out of 10 uh, because he was really uh, fast, he was good in dribbling, like in overall it was a good card, like he's not a ma he's not the best CDM in game but he is like he has that level of, of top 10 CDMs in game probably. So in general I would recommend you uh, if you're looking this card for links, uh, for uh, usability, I will recommend this card, he is very very usable. And I did like him, but I didn't love him. I lo I like him, man. So this was my review uh, for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.